What's one of the most beautiful puzzles around? This one, of course. Hi, so today we're going to be doing a review on Rainbow Kingdom by Elena Essex. You may or may not have heard of her because of she has got quite a following on Instagram, but when it comes to jigsaw puzzles, she's pretty new on the scene. I was uh, just looking through her website before. Even though she's got 9,000 followers currently on Instagram, I hope it's more soon. She d her stuff is really good. Um, she's only been doing jigsaw puzzles since 2020. What a great time to get into puzzles, huh? Um, she currently only has about five different designs. This one was the first one that I tried. And I have to be honest, one of the main reasons why I got one of hers is they've been like, oh, I like that one. I'll put it on the list for what I'm going to do later. One of the main reasons why I was like, no, I'm going to get it now is probably pretty stupid. In a way. My baby girl's called Elena. Elena Essex. Elena. I'm sure there's worse reasons to do a puzzle. <laughs> But yeah, that's why I needed to get it. I love the design as well. It's just perfect. So, let's take a close look at the box and everything inside. So here we have the Rainbow Kingdom by Elena Essex Designs. A thousand piece puzzle. And as you can see, black is a heavy feature in the packaging, which gives it a nice elegance particularly in sharp contrast to the beautiful selection of colours. The edge is kept simplistic, but not in a cheap way, in, again, an elegant way, with the rainbow and the gold and the black. On the back you have a fully unobstructed view of the design. To truly give you a proper view, you've got her contact details, including like her Instagram and that location where it was made, puzzle pieces, the fact that it's recycled paper, something that I do like is it's non-toxic inks. Also got the size in centimetres and inches as well. Just look at those colours. So inside the box, when you first open it, you get to see this beautiful thank you card, including with how to get in touch if you're missing a piece, which thankfully I was not. And something that you're seeing more and more often with jigsaws is a poster. Now, I had already had to pre-cut the bar because I did record this with my other webcam, but it didn't work, so I ended up having to refilm. So the pieces themselves, as you can see, have a semi-gloss finish with a canvas finish as well. They're of a reasonable thickness. If you look really closely, you can actually see the separate layers of the card. But it has such a nice feel to it and it's got a definite sturdiness to it. They may not be the thickest of pieces but they don't feel like they're going to fail on you. So if we just move a few things aside Don't worry, I'll get that piece in a sec. Now the piece shapes themselves, you have your standard two in, two out, as well as your standardised normal pieces. Now for the best bit, the pour out. 
and time to start sorting. finished sorting out the colours which has taken me 40 minutes I've separated it into four groups I'll just turn the camera around and show you what I haven't separated out the edges at all I've just focused on the colours and we'll see how this goes see you in a bit <laughs> this being done as an independent puzzle 
is obviously not going to be one of the cheapest. It is currently going on Amazon, going for sale on Amazon at £19.99, that is, which would make it maybe $25-ish. But I have to say, personally, I think it's worth every penny. You know, ignoring the fact that it's, uh, she has the same name as my daughter, which, like I say, was one of the main reasons why I decided to get this. Um, just look at how stunning this is. Something that I did like was that um, the pieces are made of recycled cardboard. Quite a lot of the time, when you get something made out of paper or card that's recycled, you can feel it's recycled. You just know from the touch it's recycled. This you can't. The only giveaway really that it's recycled is you can see the individual layers a bit more than what you can on a normal piece, and that's it. So it's good for the planet and good quality. When they call themselves a premium jigsaw, you mean it. Um, something that I didn't actually really notice when I was doing the jigsaw was, at the top of the picture, up here it is a proper black in the background, but when you get down to the bottom it's more a very dark blue, it does seem to be lighter. But even so, when it comes to doing the jigsaw, the like the feet of the leopard and the bottom of the shark does get somewhat lost. The bottom was the only part I had any real difficulty in. But that being said, I still enjoyed every minute of it. it took me about six hours in total. Like I'm not a pro at puzzle yet, working on it. I have all the time in the world right now, so I'm going to work on it. Um, but I was still able to do this in a fairly good time and like I said I really enjoyed it there are so many different aspects of this that is going to bring me pleasure in the future and it's even going to be like an educational tool for my two kids one who's just about to turn two actually by the time this video airs she will probably be two because I'm probably not actually going to upload this for a week or two um, and my little boy who's currently seven months old because um, like from like an educational point of view as a piece of art to have within the house and the family you've got counting, you've got colours, you've got naming animals there's so many different aspects where even if you take away the puzzle you just look at it from like a family educational point of view it has so much going for it particularly as my little girl is somewhat obsessed with monkeys. And she has a toy orangutan. She loves herself some orangutan, so she's going to be thrilled about that. I haven't really let her look at it yet, because I know she'll go for the pieces, which is another thing that I do also appreciate about this, that it's made out of non-toxic inks, because as anyone who has followed my Instagram for any length of time knows, both of my little darlings have used jigsaws as a chew toy. Both. <laughs> so it's good to know that, that I hope they never would, but if they were to give one of the Elena Essex a good old nom nom, they won't get poisoned. Because the last thing I need is a trip to A&E. &E. But yeah, all in all I'm very impressed. This is something that's going to bring years of fun for my family. So not just like two days worth of puzzling for me. Which obviously in and of itself has been a joy. But just all the many different aspects. And I'm really looking forward to doing the next one. Um, it's called something like Midnight Reef or Night Reef, it's something like that, is what I'm planning on getting next. I'm not sure when, because I have a few puzzles waiting to be done. But that is on the Dubai. 
I might get it myself as like a Mother's Day gift. But yeah. If you're looking for a gradient puzzle that's not a gradient, get this. If you're looking for an animal puzzle, get this. I highly recommend. So, um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let me know. Have you worked on this yourself? Will you work on this? I recommend again. Um, what other like animal gradients have you come across it you would recommend? What other gradients have you come across that you would recommend? Because as you can see <laughs> there, I do have another gradient that I'm planning on doing. And there's actually another one there. I want to build up my gradient collection. So yeah, let me know. And I look forward to seeing you all next time. Not sure when it'll be. I'm hoping to keep these videos coming up regular, but I'm about to have a guest over at my house, which is going to interrupt upload time. But I hope to see you all soon. Bye.